Our preferred method of treating epilepsy is to find the source of someone's seizures and remove that unhealthy tissue, but sometimes that's not possible. Like if the seizures are coming from an area too important to remove, like a language area or one responsible for movement. In these cases, our next best treatment is something called neurostimulation. With neurostimulation, we leave all brain tissue intact, but use small electrical pulses to modulate how the brain functions. This usually doesn't cure someone's epilepsy, but can significantly reduce how often someone has seizures. There are two main forms of neurostimulation, responsive neurostimulation, or RNS, and deep brain stimulation, or DBS. Responsive neurostimulation uses a small computer placed in the skull to constantly listen to the brain and send electrical impulses to stop seizures when it senses them. Deep brain stimulation places electrodes deep within the brain and stimulates on a fixed schedule throughout the day. Deep brain stimulation uses a battery pack placed in the chest, like a pacemaker for the heart. Both technologies are able to reduce the frequency of seizures on average by about 40% the first few months. Some patients get much better control of seizures than that, and some worse. After several years with the devices, patients see an average reduction in seizures of near 70%. So if a patient is having 10 seizures a week, they may now be having three a week. Both technologies have been shown to improve a patient's quality of life, and we believe reduce the risk of sudden, unexpected death in epilepsy, or SUDEP. There are many factors that go into deciding which technology is best for a particular patient. And the best place to start is to see an epilepsy neurologist, either here at the University of Utah or another certified level four epilepsy center.